Hi, it's Dougie Wood, and welcome to this video, which is going to show you exactly how to deploy Microsoft's pre-built template for Pride and LGBTQ community. This site template has been created by Microsoft um, and is free and readily available for anybody to install into their SharePoint Online uh, intranet. So I'm going to show you how to do this. This is a great template to install um, ahead of Pride Month, which starts at the beginning of June. Pride Month is a month-long celebration that takes place every June and is dedicated to the LGBTQ plus community. It is an opportunity for people around the world to recognize and celebrate the achievements and contributions of the LGBTQ plus individuals, as well as raise awareness of the ch challenges and issues faced by their community. This site template gives you um, a good starting point that you can build on further. So you can see this homepage got a really great design, which not only um, will kind of um, communicate what your mission is. Um, so in this case, the standard text says, support our employees by fostering career development, advancing equality, celebrating diversity, and championing um, your, you would obviously replace this with your company's name, but involvement in the community. Um, you can also put a vision statement by default it says reaching beyond boundaries to unite advance and promote the lgbt lgbtq plus community if we scroll down there's also a little news feed area so these um, can be pride related news articles um, which once they're created on this site when they roll up onto your home site your home hub site um, it will show that it's been created from this pride site so um, it's a great place for creating these articles for educational purposes um, to spread awareness throughout your organization there's also some upcoming events um, so this will show um, a number of different events preloaded into here but you can also choose to add your own events and just like with any other event web part you can choose to add these events into your own calendar and scrolling down there's a bit more about connecting so quite often um, you might want to leverage this further by creating a Microsoft team, Yammer feeds, uh, newsletters um, to help spread uh, the awareness. Um, there's all the things as well. So if you're becoming a member, um, you can find local events, link this out to um, some event pages, um, external resources. Um, so this might be things related to uh, an all gender restroom map. Uh, which some of the larger enterprise organizations are starting to publish um, and some general FAQs as well. So as you can see, it's a reasonably simplistic um, template. Um, it does look really good. It's quite quite uh, simple um, but effective. You can build on this further just because it's a standard out-of-the-box SharePoint site. So you can use all the standard SharePoint functionality to um, add more content. You might want to put in a little bit about us. So pride leadership. Um, so uh, any kind of executive sponsors or current initiatives that you're running you want people to be aware of any resources um, so if you're giving away any kind of pride swag um, um, if you're uh, again publishing a, a map of, of all gender restrooms um, uh, and quite importantly having some materials around understanding pronouns so Microsoft 365 have recently released a feature where you can enable pronouns um, so providing some educational materials for people around that and the best way to use um, pronouns um, alongside their Microsoft 365 account could be really useful as well so let's take a look at how do we actually deploy this template so the first thing you're going to do is go to Google and search for SharePoint lookbook we're going to select the SharePoint lookbook link here, and this is going to show us a bunch of different free templates that Microsoft have given us that we can deploy directly to our SharePoint environment. I'm then going to click on see examples, and then if I was to scroll down, you'll then see we have the LGBTQ plus employee resource group. We select on this template. Um, and this is where it gives you a little bit of information, the site features, the web parts which are being used on the site, um, as well as content that is included in this. So the content which is included is a home page. Uh, the landing page features a unique theme, color images, and more inspirational content that is relevant and engaging. Um, content here is inspired by LGBTQ plus employee resource group, but can be adapted to other types of groups. Uh, customize the text, news, events, and quick link web parts to make the site your own. It also contains a page template, so page templates with a unique theme can be found in the site's contents to help create news, posts, and pages for the site more quickly. 
uh, news web parts have come pre-populated with news posts um, as well as events web parts which have come pre-populated with events as well then all we need to do is click on this add to your tenant button and this is going to take us to the configuration page this is where you'll just make sure um, that you've got uh, your email address populated in here automatically if you're already signed in um, to Microsoft 365 it should automatically populate it's then going to ask you for a site URL uh, now I've already got a site deployed um, so I might just want to put uh, number two on the end of this it's going to validate the URL is correct and then it's going to say the site title now it will say Contoso because that's just Microsoft's um, way of um, saying almost like a, a made up uh, company so just replace that with your own company name or you could just call it pride site and then click on the provision button then it'll ask you just to uh, do you want to confirm so you say yes confirm and this will start the provisioning process um, it's worth mentioning that it may take a few minutes um, for this to actually finish the provisioning process if it errors um, sometimes it can error if you do not have the SharePoint admin role so if you do not have the SharePoint admin role um, or global admin to your Microsoft 365 account, um, you will need that in order for this to actually be able to work. I also found I got an error when I originally tried to use this, which was talking about um, a root uh, site level access. Um, actually, I had access to that site, but I found when I actually navigated to the URL of my root site, which essentially is just this first bit of the URL before sites, opened that up and then came back and run the provisioning tool, it then worked. So I don't know if sometimes it just needs that you need to go to the site and then the site almost recognizes that you've been to the site before, uh, and then it will then let you pass through afterwards. As I say, this might take up to 5, 10, 15 minutes even just to finish provisioning. So I'm not going to wait around um, for the rest of this video. But essentially, once that's completed, what it'll do is it'll pop up with the URL. Um, you can click the URL and that'll then take you back to your Pride site that's being created for you. I hope you found that useful um, and it's some content that you can add to your um, internet straight away. This is the first in a series of different templates that I'm looking at, at deploying um, so using some of Microsoft pre-built templates as well as creating some of my own templates. Um, so please do subscribe um, for future alerts. Um, if you've got any questions, please use the comments box below. Thank you very much for your time watching.